In our last video, we reviewed our genetic selection for our upcoming autoflower series. Well, there's an old adage in the military that no plan survives first contact with the enemy. In my case, that enemy was germination. In today's video, we will cover our germination results, discuss what likely went wrong, and review potential modifications of our plans for the series. And stay tuned to learn about our $1,000 seed giveaway planned for hitting 5,000 subscribers. I'm Dr. Judd with Green Cert MD. Let's get into it. Hey there, and welcome to the second installment of our new autoflower growing series. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to click like, smash that subscribe button, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming content. Also, as usual, this video is for medical educational purposes only. I am not diagnosing or treating any condition you may have, and be sure to know and comply with all applicable laws wherever you may live. So in our inaugural video for this autoflower series, I chose four autoflower options for us to grow. If you haven't seen that video yet, click here to check it out. In that video, I selected Godfather OG from Green Seed MD Genetics, Orange Bud Auto from Dutch Passion, the Milky Way F1 from Moro Queen Seeds, and the local Grow Peaceful Seed and Soil All-in-One offering from right here in the St. Louis area. All of the seeds, with the exception of the Grow Peaceful kit, were purchased by me, and none of these breeders or companies have any say in this video, or indeed in any video in my entire series. My intention was to follow up that seed selection video with a seed germination video, and rather than just filming the initiation of germination for the video, I thought I would go ahead and include the initial transplanting of the new seedlings in that same video. Well, as is now painfully obvious, you can only include footage of transplanting new seedlings when you indeed have new seedlings to transplant. And for some of those selections above, I didn't. So let's take a look at what happened. Real quick, to place some context as to how I was approaching this, I wanted every seed in our series to have been planted at the same time so we could compare growth rates, time to harvest, and ultimately yield. I intended to feed three of them an identical regimen of house and garden nutrients, with the fourth being in living soil, so we could also potentially see what differences that made. So it was important to me that every seed be planted at the exact same time. Additionally, while I feel that I have historically had a good germination rate with my personal technique, I know that sometimes things happen, so I also started multiple seeds of each strain. I opened a six-pack of the Godfather OG, a three-pack of Dutch Passion's Orange Bud Auto, and a three-pack of the Milky Way F1s. The Grow Peaceful Solution only came with one single seed, but I had already planned to use one of the Godfather OG seeds in that soil if their seed didn't sprout, as I felt that testing the soil was just as important as testing the genetics that they included, and that we would get additional information when comparing cocoa and nutrients to living soil with the same genetics. Drop a comment below if that was something that you would like to see in a future video or video series. Well, here's what we got. We sourced our Godfather genetics from Green Seed MD, and as I mentioned in our previous video, they are my go-to source for genetics, mainly because they're small, they're local, and I know their team really, really well. And the Godfather OG Auto did not disappoint, with four out of six seeds sprouting. Now, there was some variability with the time between planting and the seedling break in the service, so you can see that there's some definite size disparity here, but overall I was able to grab three healthy, live, thriving plants, uh, and a fourth one that I anticipate is just a few days away from taking off as well. Uh, it was just the last to make it to the party. The Orange Bud Auto from Dutch Passion is, um, well, where did it go? Well, actually, they're not in the tray anymore because they're already here. I frankly forgot to shoot the tray before transplanting them because this wasn't actually the video I intended to make, but two out of three of the Orange Bud Autos had already sprouted and they were growing and thriving, and so I went ahead and transplanted them, uh, and we'll get back to them later. I only had one seed for the Grow Peaceful Soil and Seed Kit, 
their sour blackberry. As mentioned earlier, I had a contingency plan to replace their seed uh, with the Godfather OG if it didn't germinate, but no worries, their seed popped just fine, though it does seem to be lagging a little bit behind the other offerings, at least in this early stage. There are a few reasons it may have stalled, from watering issues to transplant shock, and it hasn't started to take off quite yet, so I'm still a little concerned about it, but I've been checking on this little lady a few times every day, and I sincerely hope it overcomes and kicks into gear in the coming days. So the enterprising among you may have already deduced that, being the fourth option to be discussed, this is where the problems arose. See these three root riot cubes here? Those are our Milky Way seeds. I started the germination process on 10.15 and I gave them a full 21 days. Upon opening the starter plugs, there appeared to be inert seeds without any taproot development for all three. But alas, the plot thickens. Once I had three of the Godfather OGs and two of the orange bud seeds above the surface, I decided to hedge my bets and germinate another three pack of the Royal Queen Seed F1 packs. This time I chose the Orion strain, and two weeks later, only one out of the three had germinated. So this is less than ideal, obviously, and it has complicated my plans for the series. So I want to ask you guys for suggestions as to how you'd like to see us move forward. I could continue with the original plan to run all four options, knowing that the Orion F1 hybrid is a week or two behind the others, or I could continue with what you see here, which is the Godfather OG in a five gallon, an orange butt auto in both a five and three gallon, and the Grow Peaceful all-in-one kit, which will allow us to see how pot size affects final harvest results. In the event that we lose the Grow Peaceful plant, I did put a Godfather OG in a three gallon as well, and that's in my second tent as a contingency. Um, and then we could simply focus on four plants, two strains, and two pot sizes. Um, let me know about your thoughts on this in the comments below. So the obvious question is, what went wrong with the F1 hybrids? And that's one question that I don't have a definitive answer to. Seed germination issues can arise for many different reasons, from the quality of the genetics, to seed handling and germination techniques, variations in the environment, storage issues, and many more. Those of you who follow this channel know that I personally know the great crew over at Royal Queen Seeds, and I have always been impressed with their offerings, and having talked to the brains behind the F1 hybrids, I do have full confidence in the baseline genetics. Additionally, I know that typically Royal Queen Seeds conducts testing to ensure a 90% germination rate, so my best guess right now is that this is likely related to an environmental stressor such as high heat during shipping, um, as I did have these uh, shipped over to the Green Seed Genetics uh, during the summer months. Um, once the seeds arrived at Green Seed MD, they were placed in climate-controlled cooled storage uh, for a stable environment. And since they're local, uh, they didn't have to ship it to my house. I was able to pick it up direct from them. I also realized that I'm not perfect. And despite having successfully germinated hundreds of seeds in the past, it's always possible that this is an error in my technique. So in partnership with Green Seed MD, I intend to run an experiment in the coming weeks whereby we germinate a more significant number of the F1 hybrid seeds, utilizing a few different methods and also comparing to a more recent batch of F1 hybrids to the seeds that Green Seed received over the summer. This will hopefully shed some more light on what, or even if, there is an issue. I do realize that this is a very small sample size of only six seeds, so it's entirely possible that if we were to say, that they received 1,000 seeds, 100 of them wouldn't germinate, meaning a 90% germination rate. It's possible that I got three of those 100 all in one packet. So there might not be anything wrong at all, but we're gonna try our best to try to figure that out and get those results to you because we know that these seeds are up there among the more pricey ones in the market. So there you go, the best laid plans of mice and men in action. Let me know down below just how you'd like to see us proceed, and also let me know what other breeders you'd like to see us feature in a future grow series, as I know choosing who to source genetics from can be at times a hot issue. 
Stay tuned for more scientific investigation into the F1 hybrids in the coming weeks. For now, I will leave you with a shot of the current plant arrangements. And as you can see, the Dutch Passion Orange Bud is currently leading the charge, but with the Godfather OG plants not that far behind. I also wanted to let you know that in celebration of reaching 5,000 subscribers, hopefully before the end of the year, we have partnered with Greenseed MD to give away $1,000 worth of genetics to our viewers. We are working on the plan right now with more information regarding this in upcoming videos as well as over on our Patreon, link in the description below. I anticipate creating personally curated selections of seeds and sending them out to our paid Patreon supporters. Your support through Patreon really helps the channel as we look to grow and cover more topics of interest to you, and this is simply the best way for me to communicate in a safe and effective manner with our cannabis family. I sincerely hope to hit 5,000 subscribers before Christmas so we can get these seeds out to stock the stockings of our viewers with some tasty treats. So that's it for now, and until I see you again, puff puff and pass it on.